Hi, this is Larry Freights, and I'm bringing you a special edition of my Art to You program that I've been doing during this pandemic. And we're going to do a special cartoon workshop, about 30 minutes, for Climb Above Addiction. We're going to be coming up with a character that maybe helps summarize what's going on today. So let's move this piece of paper and get right on to what we're going to be doing. Okay. What you need is a piece of paper and a pencil. They probably told you that. If not, I'm going to give you a minute to try to grab a pencil and a piece of paper. Now, I'm also going to be using a felt tip marker. Uh, you, if you have one, you can use it. If you don't have one, just press harder with your pencil because we're going to be using two different kinds of lines. Um, and I've found that by teaching cartooning, whether I'm doing it with adults or kids, uh, it's always good to understand the difference between light lines and blue lines. So now if you're ready, here we go. Here's your piece of paper, the top edge, sides, and we're going to come to about this section up in somewhere between the upper and middle quadrant here. And what I'd like you to do is very lightly do a little circle shape like this. Okay? And the thing is, this will be also saved to this page. So um, if you can't keep up or if you decide you just want to watch, um, that's a possibility too, and you can always catch this later. So right about here, you're going to put a little line. See a little bit below. So here's the circle and a little line. About maybe an inch and a half from that. Let's put another little curve, and then we're going to connect those two lines. It all has to do with simple lines shapes, circles, squares, triangles. But you probably already know that. Okay, now between this circle and the shape we made down here, let's put a little line here and another little line that's a little thinner at the bottom and a little wider as it gets up to this circle. These are all the preliminary lines that help you to block it in. Okay, so under this shape, let's put a little curve like this. And then we're going to sort of do an upside down V next. It's going to come up like this, and then it's going to come out like this. So this almost looks like a cone. You're going to have some choices as to how you finish it up. I'm going to finish it one way, and then you can add or take away depending on your situation. It's sort of like the whole program here. You take what you need, and you leave what you don't need. Okay, now we need another little triangle coming out over here. This almost looks like an origami bird. Now I'm going to get real fancy with foot. Two lines like this. Actually, let's make it a little triangle. Might as well do that since we're doing triangles. And to the back here, we're going to add almost like a kind of a rectangle sticking out like that. I have to watch my edges here so you don't lose what I'm drawing. I may have to move the paper back and forth a little bit. Okay, now over here, a little egg shape like that. And that little egg shape we made there, we want to put another little egg shape right here. 
Remember, these are guidelines. This isn't the finished cartoon. And who knows, you might look at this and say, wow, I'd like to do some cartooning. It's sort of a, a good release. You can sort of make up characters as you go. Even just scribbling, keeping a notebook. It's all kinds of stuff that makes drawing a little bit more interesting. Okay, now right over here, I'm going to make a little shape like this. Mine's not going to be too big, and I'm not going to put a lot in here. And as I get down to putting in the final details with the, the felt tip marker, um, you'll see why I made it small. Okay, now right about here, I'm going to bring a little line this way. And I want to swoop this out, sort of going up like this. I want to put a little circle on the bottom. And then up here, another little circle, like this one. But this is going to go... I'm not going to see the whole thing. It's going to go behind the circle. That makes sense. Now, if you think about the title of this, Climb Above Addiction, you can sort of see what this character is going to be doing. But this, there's going to be a little story behind him when we add the details. Okay, now right here, let's bring a line this way. And then we're going to bring this line in this way. And then we're going to take this out like that. Okay. Well, I'm moving along here, but remember, this will be saved here on the page. So if you couldn't keep up or... If you decided just to watch, see what I'm doing here? I'm adding like a little curve and a line here. Now right here, sort of a line there and there. And I think that's all we're going to... Oh, wait. One more little line right about there. And I think those are going to be our guidelines. Okay? So look at that. Just about eight and a half minutes, we've got that whole thing sketched in. Now I'm going to take my felt tip marker and I'm going to start to add the details. So right here on this line, if you're watching here, Let's, let's darken that line like that. And we're going to put another line above it. And let's put a line in between like this. And then the curve, this curve that comes around, you'll notice that that will enclose that shape. So here's the first part. Okay. Now right about here, we're going to bring a shape out like this. And then we're going to bring it in and bring it down to that line like that. Okay. That's it. Darken in this line here. And make put a little line. It almost looks like the letter T over here. Now I'm going to come in a little bit and then bring my line down like this. So 
So that gives me the sense of a little upper lip and lower lip. Okay, now let's put a curve like that. And I'm leaving some of these spaces because it's going to be up to you as to how you want to end it. I want to finish this off. Okay, now. Where that line sort of comes a little sharp, I'm going to round it out and then bring it in like this. Not the whole distance. I'm going to bring this like this. Okay. I'm going to move down to this space here. This is going to come here. And it sort of comes in a, in a loop like that. But I want to curve mine a little bit. So it has a little twist to it. This is going to help to make it pop out a little bit more, I think. come on the inside of this line and bring it into here. So see how there's a little space right there? That was the original line, but I brought this in a little bit like this. Okay, now I'm going to move down to this bottom section. I'm not going to come out as wide as I originally drew it. But I'm going to bring this like this. And then this one's going to come out and curve a little bit like this. Okay. Now let's darken here. We're going to go to this line. And I'm going to bring this line like this. And then this one's going to curve making it a little rounder and right here I'm going to do this and connect it like that okay so let's add this in here and things are starting to come together so let's Let's bring this one down like that. So as you can see, just basic simple shapes and then you can use your imagination and turn these things into some specific things. If I put these shapes together in different locations, I might draw a llama. I could come up with a frog. Just the, I'm going to have to come up with, with this particular character. Okay, now right here, I'm going to put a line, a line, and let's say right here, let's, let's add another one in here. This is going to depend on Okay, let's bring out of here double line like this. And put a little attachment there. And this character wants to be safe, so. And in here, this is going to come this way and out. And I think you can start to see how this character is coming together. Okay, now we're going to go up here to the face, and right about here, we're just going to put two little dots like this, and then coming out of here, we're going to put some eye protection on here, because sometimes when you're climbing, you need eye protection. 
No, it's but too little. I brought us like that. And bring this nose in a little bit like this. So we're starting to get the idea of what we're going to be doing here. Hopefully you're able to keep up. Okay, over here we're going to bring a line like that. Now see how I have this real close to the space? I'm going to bring this up a little higher. So for a minute I'm going to go back to my pencil because sometimes when you when you attempt something it doesn't always work out the first time or you might have to adapt a little bit that's why they have an eraser on here and you notice there's less eraser than pencil so this was designed by a positive thinker but I want that to be a little higher here Okay, now let's let's work right here on this little end of the arm. I'm going to bring a shape like this. And let's go one, two, three, and bring that in. It's going to give us the feeling of a hand. Okay, let's go back here, and on the end of this shape, I want to draw that sort of shape, and then what I'm going to do is add a second line, and along the bottom here, I'm going to put some little spaces like that, so that's going to be bottom of this shoe, this boot. So now depending on what kind of boot you use, you can it's the back of the boot, toe of the boot. This overlaps a little bit because the foot's going back. Okay, now here, let's, we're going to see the side of this boot a little bit. So I'm gonna, I double the line there and I put a little curve. Now this is going to come out like this with another little curve. And then we connect those two pieces. Just think when we're done with this, this character will be climbing above addiction. Not, not to say that it's easy as doing a cartoon. It's very difficult. But sometimes you have to follow some specific steps, just like drawing. And they sort of help you to get where you're going. And then you can think of a generic boot, you know, the back of it, the toe, you know, the laces. Put one little loop in there. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, just by adding a line here and bringing this around here and then bringing a line here and bringing this line here I could add because sometimes when you're climbing you can't just do this on your own you need some help 
make a little knee pad there, and this could be a little knee pad in back. This would be the leg. And right here, this, this could be a pair of socks just by adding some lines like this. We got shoes, boots, socks, got a little knee pad there and here to help out. And we turn these into some shorts. Okay. So let's, where do we go next? Let's go back here. And remember, this sort of looks like a backpack. Now you know you're going to need water. So let's put a little camel back in here. And we can have that little end stick out there in case you want to drink out of it. It'll shut off. Now this is where you have to make a choice. Just like, you know, climbing above addiction, you have to realize how much baggage you're willing to take along. Uh, some people take a little baggage, some people take a lot. But I'm going to consider doing something that's sort of in between. I'm going to put a top on this. And I'll bring this around like this. And I can put some straps on the side here. Now here, I'm, go I'm going to put a strap right here. I'm going to stick it out a little bit. And that sort of helps, helps to hold the baggage in. Again, it's that support that you get as you climb up above. And again, this whole idea of baggage, you decide how much you're going to be taking. Down here, let's, I'm going to hang a few clips like this. Sort of fill that space, but again, it's just being safe and making sure you've got what you need and you're going to make it to the top. And once you get there, you have a choice. You keep going. And along the way, you may come up with a few more mountains. But you'll have the supplies and you'll have the experience. And you'll know where you're going from here. Okay, let's go to this line. Now here, I'm going to make it a little craggy like this. So it looks like this person or this character's climbing up. But like anything else, it's not always smooth. You know, you've, you've got some rough spots and you've got some deep spots. And as, as you look for these crags, you're going to make some choices. And hopefully you make some good ones. Now here, I'm going to bring this out like this. Because this is going way back. And this character is sort of getting ready to swing, swing some legs out. So as a cartoonist, we have these things called action lines. So I'm going to put these little action lines here on the legs. So it's like it's swinging. It's in motion and it's making progress. Here, this leg's moving a little bit. This makes it look like a little bit of tension. Now let's put this foot on something, otherwise your foot's just out there and, and you don't have any balanced foot grip. So you need to have some sort of stability. Okay, remember this line that I made up in here? This one I'm going to make it come up and it's going to go past and it's going to come up like this. 
because one thing for sure is as you're climbing up you know this mountain or you're climbing up this got to finish that line right there cuz this piece comes in as you're finishing up your your trip or your climb um, I want you to think about this next thing you know you can decide to do this and I'm just going to put let's do this like this three fingers and a thumb most cartoon characters only have three fingers and a thumb you can check that online okay so let's decide if you want this to be a guy, you can give him shorter hair, you can give him longer hair, or you could give him in between hair or no hair. If it's a gal, you can put a hair back, you can tack it up, you can have a short cut, whatever you want. I'm going to take my character and I'm gonna give a little bit of a wild look here. Just because I like that. I like that look. Okay, so now we've got the hair, we've got the neck, the face, protective gear. This could just be a stocking cap, but if you want it to be a helmet, watch what you can do. Just by adding two lines like this, you could turn that into a helmet. So sometimes the simple things are overlooked. You know, sometimes the answers are right in front of us and we don't see them. But the most important thing while you're doing this is I'm going to bring this right here. And we're going to bring a line like this. And this line's going to come down like this. And I'm going to bring it in like this. And I'm going to add another little belt in here. A little shading here just to make it more interesting. Okay, so as you come in here, you're going to see that with all this climbing that you're doing, uh, sometimes you have all the equipment you think you need, then you decide you don't have something you need. But one important thing you want to remember is this line right here. Because when you're doing this climbing, sometimes you can't do it alone. Sometimes you need some help. And remember that there's, there's always somebody on the end of this line that's willing to help you. Now, as you're going along, you can, obviously, you can color this in. And I just want to do one little section so that you can see how it makes it pop out. Once you add your color, you can take a section, of, and you could use colored pencil, you could use paper. I'm just going to put... A blue cap like this and you can see how it makes your character sort of pop out and then I'm gonna put a stripe on here actually I'm not I'm gonna give the person some reddish hair here and I think I'll make that line a little lighter So you can see by adding color, you can make this character pop right out. Well, anyway, we've come to the end. It's almost 30 minutes, and we've created a whole character trying to climb above addiction. Uh, sometimes you lose your footing, but sometimes you, you really find firm ground. Get a grip, and remember you can't always do it alone. So you've got that lifeline right there. And make sure you've got your equipment and don't carry too much baggage with you. So with that, I'd like to thank you for joining me on this special edition of Art to You with Larry. Um, if you'd like to join some cartooning classes, go on Facebook and you'll see this every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday if you wanted to continue with your cartooning. So anyway, thanks for stopping by, and good luck with Climb Above Addiction. Thanks for joining me.